Hello everybody and welcome to another patch report for Jupiter Hell. This update brings some unique items, some relics, and other additions, and some amazing UI and UX improvements. Shall we dive in? The first thing that I wanted to mention is there are now 26 new unique items in the game, and these are not things that you will find every single run. These are, they'll be sprinkled out throughout each run, and they are some incredibly unique, interesting weapons. I'm not going to spoil them all, but let's just say I found a rifle that shoots your own blood at things and kills you over time, uh, but does, like, incredible amounts of damage. Here, just have a look at this. The next thing I wanted to mention is relics. Now, relics are magical monster guts. Now, these relics are little items that you will find throughout. They look like little pentagrams. They glue themselves permanently to your player and give you benefits and debuffs. Uh, there are several different levels that you'll find throughout in the uh, alternate routes going down, so you won't find them if you just stick to the main path. However, if you take the alternate routes, you will find them. But I'm really excited to see how these relics are going to change my runs going forward, and I'm very, very, very keen to see the rest of them, as I haven't seen them all yet. I, ex I hope that you uh, go exploring and find some cool stuff down there. There's a new rifle that has been added for single-shot rifle fans. Uh, it's the Cry Rail Rifle. It's basically a nerfed railgun, as they describe it. Uh, and it's going to be found later on in the runs, as it's stated. It's a, it's a Cry weapon, so you're not going to find this earlier on in the game, because currently the game is kind of lacking in late-game sniper rifles, especially if you're trying to do those sniper rifle builds. Unless you get some pretty lucky unique drops, you're kind of screwed. So having a more common rifle to find with the single-shot capacity is a very nice addition. But this is the thing that I'm actually extremely excited for, the UI and FX improvements. Now, I've been begging for a bunch of features for a long time, and anybody who watches my channel frequently will know that I'm visually impaired. My username is true. Uh, so anything that makes games easier to read visually is an A plus from me. You can now resize the minimap to be ludicrously big, and also, every single time things drop from an enemy, as you'll see from this gameplay in the background, every single time things drop from an enemy, uh, they do a little bouncing animation, making it extremely clear as to what's new on the ground, instead of them just phasing into existence like they did before. We won't have any problems with Splattercat Gaming being confused uh, when he opens up a chest and says, oh, nothing came out of it. I'm gonna pick this ammo up anyways, which just came out of the chest. Also, another thing that was added is now uh, in the settings menu, you can set your UI to not be transparent or be transparent, which for me is a massive, massive help as now I can just look at a UI element and it has a black background. It's all easy to read with the orange text on the black instead of having kind of this semi-transparent background. It's always something I've had a lot of trouble with. I know other people don't have issues with this. You can also set the transparency on your minimap alongside of this, which is a, a huge benefit to me and I'm very, very happy that this is now in the game. Aside from that, there are balance changes and some bug fixes. I will attach the detailed patch notes down below. From what I've heard, they have uh, two patches left before release. I am very keen to see what this game looks like when it hits 1.0 in August. Very excited. This has been a interesting journey, shall we say, throughout Early Access for Jupiter Hell and me. I mean, if you go look at my YouTube channel and go digging, you'll find footage of what the game looked like back in 2019 when it first released into Early Access on August 1st, and it's come such a long way. If you haven't tried the game out, I still seriously recommend you do. It's one of my favorite Early Access roguelikes, just kind of ever, outside of maybe like a Cogmind or Caves of Cud. It is a fantastic, like, relatively short run high octane roguelike and I really really enjoy the game and if I were to give any major criticisms about this patch I would say that the, the one unique I found on my run the other day uh, was one that didn't fit my current build but that was just more of a poor luck on my part and poor planning not the fault of the game if you enjoyed this video, then you will uh, also like to know that I'm sitting here sweating in my apartment because it's 40 degrees Celsius. I'm going to go turn the air conditioning back on. If you want to support me directly, you can do that on Patreon. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.